Hey guys, SureShot Midget here. I am doing a CQB loadout. Now, I did an old CQB loadout. I'm going to delete it, um, mainly because I changed a few things around. But it's still so similar that I'm not going to redo it. I'm just going to delete the old one and make a new one. Um, so, what I did is, I pre on the previous video, I talked about how this belt here was kind of jacked up. And it was way too loose and when it would fall around my waist when I put water bottles in my back pouch. Well, now... What I did is I tightened it, and then you have to tape it because there's no actual clip. You actually have to tape this, um, this, um, I don't know what you want to call this. This is like the adjustment piece. Um, so I had to pull this and then tape it. So now it's stuck. It's pretty secure. Um, I have a flight suit on and then, like, shorts, and it's still pretty secure. If I put BDUs on or, like, contractor or when I get uh, multi-cam pants, um, if I put those on, They'll be, it'll be secure as well. Um, it cannot fall down below my butt. It cannot slide down. There's no way, but um, it does move around a little bit, so it kind of bugs me, but I'll get past it. So let's start with the helmet. Uh, first of all, on this side of my helmet, I have a contour mount. I have a contour room, too. It's taking the video, so that's my uh, way to balance this out. And actually, it's balanced regardless with this flashlight on this side. Um, because the goggles and everything hold it steady. So, I've actually never tried this helmet on with with both of these. Yeah, it keeps it secure regardless, even though, you know, it's not heavy over here at all. Um, so, I'm just going to start, I'll talk about my helmet in a minute. This is, I'm going to get this off. This is a Bravo face mask. It is in black. And then these are Flakjack OD green goggles. Um, they are awesome goggles. I've had them for about two years. They do have scratches and stuff, but to be honest, it's not, you know, not bothering me. It also come with a darker lens. And then, like I said, this is a Bravo face mesh mask. I have to have this at two out of the four fields I've been to. Um, there's one field I have not been. Actually, five fields. There's one field I have not been to. This is a... Uh, fast helmet. It is an OD green. Like I said, I have the contour mount from contour. Um, it's not a knockoff or anything. I have an American flag patch here. I have my last name patch on the back, and then I have my call sign patch on this side. I custom made that out of cardboard. Um, and then I have a uh, flashlight here. It's actually on a sweet mount that I made with um, a gas blowback ACR WeTech rail. Um, it just screws into this mount that my brother had, and now it can move up and down. So this flashlight can move up and down. I can, you know, angle it so if I need to see lower, but, you know, when I go outside or whatever, I can put, just push it up so it shines out. Now, um, right now, all the way up, it's looking at the ceiling. So if I need to see something on the ceiling or something, which I doubt I will, but up in a high space, literally like this, just aiming high. And I can adjust it. I can even sit here and like hold it and just move it wherever I need to. Um, I can tighten that down as well. But that's cool. This flashlight's about half dead and it's still dang bright. And I've had that for years as well. Um, and then here I have a flight suit. This will be what I'm wearing or BDUs. But if I'm playing CQB, I'm going to be using this flight suit probably. Um, I'll have a t-shirt underneath and then shorts probably because um, this thing does get hot. Um, and then I have this belt rig, which is an unknown brand. It says Made in Pakistan on it. Same thing with this admin pouch here. They're both say Made in Pakistan. Um, they're both in OD green. They're cheaper quality, but they'll last me. It's no big deal. Um, so yeah, I have both of those. Hope you guys can see that. Um, inside of this, I will have a 90 round speed loader full of point twos, And I will have two extra shells, and then one is for my shotgun. Um, and then over here I have a Blackhawk Serpa holster. It's a real Serpa. Um, I paint, spray painted it gray. And um, this right here is awesome. I had to mod it to fit this gun a little bit. That's why there's that cut there on the side. But um, it's a little bit hard to pull out. It's still pretty tight fit. But if I, you know, yank on it, I can get it out. Um, uh, so that's why it'll kind of get loose. Um, so yeah, it has the molly mount on it. Um, it came with a different mount, so I had to swap that out. This is my WeTech P226. Um, it has a WeTech extended magazine. Um, we'll corner this here in a minute. It has a WeTech uh, slide. It's got an SY tactical outer barrel, a cheap outer barrel, um, a 
Steel Wetech Spring Guide, a KJW Complete Lower Receiver. This is the trademarked KJW Lower and Grip. So this is the lowers KJW. It's only had about a thousand rounds put through it, and then the slides had about six, seven thousand. But I do have a spare nozzle, and I'm going to be buying and a spare spring guide. I'm going to be buying a spare uh, outer barrel here soon because this one I won't be surprised if it cracks soon. I run propane, we'll corner this in a little bit, but yeah, this pistol's beast. Point twos in this and my primary that I'll be running for CQB so I can swap the BBs through each gun. Now the primary I will be using is a shotgun. Now I'm not sure what company makes this. I got it used, um, I think it's either Bravo or UTG. I don't think it's Double Eagle. Um, I think it's UTG because it was bought at, or Bravo, sorry, because it was bought at a local shop, I think, as far as I can remember, he told me that. And they sell Bravo there. Um, so I have three shells for this. One of them holds 30, and the other two hold like 14, so it's not as many on those two. I need to get some more shells. Um, I spray painted it gray. Okay, so it was tan underneath. The previous one I had tan, and I don't like tan. So I spray painted it gray, did clear coat, and then I did snakeskin in black, which I think looks sweet. I love the look. The paint is not showing through in any spot but back here a little bit on the buttstock because this actually goes on my carpet. So it sits like this, and it sticks. It actually sticks against the carpet. When I pull the gun up, it actually pulls some of the paint off. So that's the only reason why. And I think it's because it wasn't fully dry when I did that, but it still kind of pulls against it. Um, this gun is, we'll, we'll corner it uh, here. I like this gun, it's dry shot, like I said. Um, it's actually pretty hard to pump, um, to be honest. So if you're someone smaller than me or weaker than me, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not super weak, but um, I've not fielded it, so I haven't really fielded it. You know, when you're adrenaline, I guess, you know, you can, you know, rack it faster kind of thing. Or, you know, you have a target, you're going to rack it as fast as you can. Um, but just shooting in the backyard, it's uh, uh, not the best. Go look at my shooting video. That's how fast I was shooting it. It's pretty fast. I mean, I was just like, Phew. I pull it away from my shoulder and rack it. Um, you don't want to rack it against your shoulder because the way the stock is, I feel like it's kind of flimsy. Um, yeah, I really need to tighten that up, which there's a long screw in here. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, that's that. I could put a sling on this. I have a one-point sling, but it would only fit up here, and that would be really weird because it would be like this. So, actually, there is a sling point back here and here. I might be able to do that. It'll still hit the ground, I think. I can just adjust the sling because I have the sling adjusted for a rifle. I can just adjust it so it pulls it up a little bit. Um, so I can use my Condor, no, Pantac two-point sling. Um, one-point sling, sorry. Um, so we're going to chrono these guns here. I think that's it. Um, let's do the shotgun first. These are point twos, And I have uh, nine shots in here. I just cleaned the barrel yesterday, so it should uh, be shooting as hard as it can. Because I had never cleaned these barrels. Two seventy nine. It's not that good. I mean, it is three barrels, so. I've heard people talk about these guns, and apparently they have, like, the equivalent to an M1, or M1, M90 spring in an AEG. That's what I've heard. Um, but since there's three barrels, it's going down to three different ports, so that's why, it, that's what I've heard. I heard somebody say that a while ago. I don't know if that's true or not. 222. I think that's the last round. I want to make sure. Yeah, loaded all the BBs. Two ninety-eight. So it's about two ninety with point twos. Um, let me go ahead and make sure. There we go. Um, so I mean, I'm happy. The FPS is perfectly fine with me. Um, people are gonna probably call it because you're getting hit with three rounds at the same time. Um, so let's corner this now. Now, I don't like it how this is so tight in here. I might try to modify it a little bit more, but I mean, let's say, you know, I sling my shotgun down and I have to go and pull this. I just yank it out as hard as I can. And it does not like it pulls it way up here. It just pulls it up to kind of my stomach area, which I mean, I have enough stomach, so it's not going to like 
go all the way up to like my nipple or anything. I'm not skinny or anything. Um, at least I don't think I am. Um, point twos again, propane. I'll show you. It is set with point twos on the uh, X Cortec 3200. 295. This thing's not shooting very hard either. 299. 298. 296. Uh, 293. 292. So this is about 290 still. I mean, this and that are about 290 FPS with point two. So these both pass chrono easy. Um, this gun is loud. I actually uh, did feel this in CQB. That was back a while ago when I still had the WeTech lower and I was having a magazine catch issue. I have a spare KJW magazine catch for this just in case because these wear out fast. At least my WeTech did. But yeah, that was just uh, my loadout. This is just a CQB loadout. I do have a WeTech PDW. Um, I don't play CQB very often. I might even use this for uh, field play if just I want to kind of go lightweight kind of thing. Just have fun, not to, you know, compete at an open, open play. I might just run this pistol and that just to have fun. Um, or maybe just like an AEG with a high cap and these. Um, I do have a WeTech PDW, like I said, but I have a different, I have a belt rig with a harness, so it's like a plate, or not a plate carrier, it's like, it's like a chest rig type thing. It doesn't look like a belt because it has a harness that goes up here, and it, like, attaches from the back and everything. It's basically just like this. I have magazine pouches over here, I have a dump pouch over here, and then I have a, uh, bag, an admin pouch in the back that holds, like, my propane tank, or not my propane tank, um, my propane tank goes in my, uh, dump pouch. Sometimes. Sometimes I'll put it in the back if I want to actually use my dump pouch to dump mags, but normally I just put the mags back in the pouches. Um, I can do a test on that too. That's that's a lightweight field rig. So, you know, I use my PDW on the field, I'll use that. If I use my WeTech M16 or my WeTech uh, ACR, I will use that rig. Um, I'm not going to be using my chest rig because I don't have enough mags to fill it up, so I have five Vietnam mags and I want a six. No, yeah, I have five. I want um, five total working, actually. I have two leaky ones, two ones with issues. Um, I want five perfectly working ones because I have four pouches here, one in the gun. That's what I want, and that goes with my ACR, my PDW, and the M16 because they're all compatible. Um, but if I use my chest rig, it can hold seven, six, and then the one in the gun. So I don't know if I'll do that or not. Um, and use that rig and get seven mags, but I feel like that's expensive, and I five is fine for me. I can load them up. I shoot semi only anyways. Also, stay tuned for more videos for my M16, because I'm still working on that. The R hot patch that I did is not very good, so I'm still working on that. So, yeah, see you later. Stay tuned for more videos, guys.